So this is kind of a follow-up on what I carry in my tool belt. Um, when I did my initial video on my tool belt setup, I was actually off work at the time doing training, and I forgot one thing that is very critical, and that is a drift pin. If you're doing heavy civil form work and not doing uh, not doing free forming with like snap ties or whatever, if you're using an actual forming system, this is essential. Um, unless uh, unless everything is done perfectly right from the get go, stuff will never line up. Your strong backs won't fit in your splice plates, and on and on and on. So this is essential to drift those things together to tie them up, so you don't have any blowout. So, um, another thing that I use, because it's a lot lighter and it's way more plentiful to be carrying around something like this, is something like this. Most of your forming systems, like Perry or Doka or whatever, will have these pins, like these uh, non-threaded um, non pins, and I use these as drift pins. Usually I'll sharpen them so I can get them into smaller crevices to, uh, to pound those, um, to pound the bolt or to pound the hole to line up those holes. So, you know, I'll use something like this because it's a lot more handy to carry around. But that is incredibly important. And if you do heavy civil form work, um, you're going to have a lot in common with, uh, with some of the structural iron workers because you do a lot of the same things you know you're bolting you're bolting stuff up you're flying things in with a crane uh you're doing a little bit of welding here and there i know there's more to uh to doing structural iron work because i have done a little bit of it but there is a little bit of carryover in it and this is just a great tool to have and you know for an alternative use something like this because you find them everywhere so yeah, just a just a quick tip on um on just some of the essentials that you're going to need for concrete work.